Welcome everybody to the final day of Bolt Summer Family Challenge. We hope that you've been growing closer with your families and in God's unconditional love. Today, we will be learning about how we should follow Jesus closely. Hey, Elena, hi. <laughs> um, Thunder, what are you doing? Well, I'm following Elena closely with my eyes. I'm getting a little annoyed, Thunder. Yeah, Thunder, there's no need to practice with Elena. You can work on following Jesus directly. Hmm. How do we do that? We will learn more about that today, but we can follow Jesus closely in all that we do. Let's learn about the first people who follow Jesus closely. Jesus was standing by the Lake Gennesaret. People were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. Jesus then got onto a man's boat. His name was Simon, who was also called Peter. Jesus had Simon Peter go a little ways from shore, then told him to cast his nets. Simon Peter had been out fishing all night and had not caught a thing, but since Jesus asked him to, Peter threw out his nets. They caught so many fish that their nets began to break. They had to call for more help and bring all the fish in. When Peter saw this, he said to Jesus, Go away from me, I am a sinful man. But Jesus said, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be a fisher for people. So Simon Peter and his companions left their boats on the shore and followed Jesus. Jesus didn't only call Peter and his companions, but others too. Here's a story of Jesus calling Matthew the tax collector. Matthew was doing his job of tax collecting, and Jesus said to him, Come follow me. So immediately, Matthew got up and left his job. He then threw a big dinner for Jesus and invited other sinners. They all ate together, and the Pharisees saw this, and they asked Jesus, Why do you eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus replied, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. So you're telling me that even though Jesus is the coolest person ever, he still hung out with everyone? That's right. Jesus invites everyone to follow him closely. Oh, it's pretty cool when, when Peter followed Jesus closely on the boat and caught all of the fish. Yeah, I, I bet it smelled really bad though. Yuck. Yeah. Fish are super smelly. <laughs> I don't want them anywhere near me. Oh, then you guys might not be huge fans of today's game. What? Huh? Excuse me? There are fish by your face, but they shouldn't be too smelly. They might even be delicious. Let's check out what my friend Casey Jordan has in store for us today. One person from each team is going to put whip topping on their face. The other members of the team are gonna race back and forth collecting one goldfish cracker at a time and running back and attaching it to the face of their teammate. The team that has the most goldfish attached at the end of one minute wins. Do you understand the rules? Yes, ma'am! Perfect, athletes, let's get in position. Solid. 
Mm, good start, good start. Good, good. Mm. All right, team's time is up. Let's start counting. Team one, one, two, <laughs> nine, ten, and eleven. One. All right, team I two. I dropped three. You dropped three. All right, one, two, <laughs> sixteen, seventeen, and the winning team is team two. Yes! Woo! Congratulations, team two. Well done. Well done. Thank you. I love goldfish. I love whipped cream. And I love myself. <laughs> Speaking of love, let's check out today's craft. Sounds cool. Today we'll require a single piece of square paper of any color. Remember, as always, you can pause and rewind the video at any time. Fold the paper corner to corner to form a triangle. Open it back up to reveal a center line. Now, fold the paper corner to corner in the other direction. Open it again to reveal a cross pattern. Fold one corner to the midpoint. Fold the opposite corner all the way to the opposite edge. Take the bottom corner to the top middle of the paper. Fold the edges down and repeat with the other corner. Flip your paper over and fold the top two corners down. Finally, fold each of the side corners down in a similar manner. Flip it back over and you have a heart. This heart reminds us of God's deep love for us. This heart reminds us of the amazing love of God. Romans 8.39 says, Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's love for us is so great that He sent His Son Jesus to die for the forgiveness of our sins. When we know that God loves us, it is so easy to follow Jesus. You are so right! I want to follow God all the days of, of my life, too, and, and live my whole life to His glory. Can I glorify God by being a meteorologist? Of course! <gasps> In everything we do, we can follow God. So let's check out some of those family challenges. This week, you can make a thank you note for postal workers or trash collectors and leave them water, Gatorade, or snacks. Or you can make cars for nursing home residents. 
Or write a special note to your neighbor telling them how special they are. Or all of the above. But if you need more challenges, check out our Facebook, King of Kings. Don't forget, on August 1st, we are collecting toiletries for Empty Tomb, and we need your help. This feels weird. I'm like a sloppy, goopy, cloudy mess, but I actually hope the families complete these challenges. Oh my goodness, what have you ladies done to me? You've treated me so nicely. I, I actually feel pretty good. Wow. Thank you for showing me that God loves me and that Jesus saves. I, you families, you can do it. You can do the challenges and you can even collect all those toiletries. I still don't know where you buy toiletries. Is there a toiletry store? <laughs> no, no. No thunder. Well, whatever. It may seem impossible, but find that toiletry store and bring those seven tables of toiletries and put them on the table, I guess, but you can do it. Thunder, I am so proud of you. You know, you're a pretty fun guy to have around, and next time there's a storm, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> Families, let's show Thunder that he's right this time. Bring your toiletries for Empty Tomb Ministries at the drive-thru on August 1st from 9 to noon. And remember to use the hashtag Bolt Summer Family Challenge when you post your family completing those challenges. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you August 1st. Bye. Bye. Hey kids, I'm Ben Calhoun from Citizen Way and we are on day three of BBS Awesomeness. Woo! Holla, holla. Okay, day one, we talked about bulletproof, the armor of God, Ephesians 6, and also Psalm 119, 105 that says, his word is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. We can totally listen to Jesus with both of our ears. <laughs> we only have one mouth and two ears. And day two, we talked about wave walker, walking on the waves like Peter did following Jesus, supernaturally walking on the water. I believe it. And that's how we can focus on Jesus, okay? If we keep our eyes on him, we can walk on the water. And day three is all about we can follow Jesus. And you know what? I chose to follow Jesus when I was a kid. You know, I went to church. I loved it. But going to church makes you as much of a Christian as going to McDonald's makes you a hamburger. Every person is given the choice to follow God themselves, not by any other means. You have the choice. And I made that choice when I was a kid. You know why? My parents loved me. They loved me enough to give me a choice to love them back. And that's what real love is. You see, 1 John chapter 4 says we love because he first loved us. Our God loves us and he loves you right where you are, enough to send his son Jesus, not only to pay for our sin and your sin and mine, but also to pay for every sin there ever was. And everything the enemy ever did, he is going to redeem someday. And that is something to look forward to. I'm so glad I'm part of the family of God. And you can be too. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, it's very simple. Lord, you can pray with me now. Lord Jesus, I believe you're the only way, the truth, and the life. Forgive me for my sin. I want to make you the Lord of my life and follow you all of my days. In your name I pray. Amen. That's all it takes. And if you did that today, or if you've done it recently, or maybe someday you will, well, you're going to be welcomed into the biggest family there ever was, the family of God. In Romans 8, chapter 8, verse 28 says that nothing can separate us from his love. Nothing. In fact, I wrote a song about it. It goes like this. Oh, all right. Here we go. I'm going to teach it to you. I got to get the words going here, though. I wrote this so many years ago, right from Scripture.
thank you so much for being with me today. I'm Ben Calhoun from Citizen Way. Three days of awesomeness here at BBS. Man, I'm glad to be with you. In Jesus' name, see you soon. Have you guys seen my contact? <laughs> I did all the decorating myself. He didn't know that I had such decorating skills. Many of these are laminated. Mm-hmm. Yes. Loud and proud. King of boom. Mr. Bombastic. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Thunder here. The king of boom. If it causes you doom, get out of the room, because thunder's here. It's thunder time, people. What's up? Caller on line number one? What's your question? Huh? Okay, yeah? Mm-hmm, yes. Okay, the question was, what's more annoying, thunder or fireworks? Well, fireworks, although a very admirable opponent, did not come as early as thunder. I'm the originator of the boom. I, I'd say thunder beats fireworks. Fireworks only come like one week of the year, right? I'm around any night to wake up your children and your pets. Mm -hmm. Yep, color number two. No, no, I will not pay for the damage your cat did to the couch. Nope, that's not on me. Okay, okay, bye.